You know, as this virus keeps spreading, life is just getting darker and shadier. But as we keep hearing about these movies, life is getting brighter and better. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Gaming with Jake and welcome to back to another uh, movie news update. And I know we've all been hearing about this for the past couple of years, that they're doing a Minecraft movie. I mean, people have been doing their fan-made trailers, people... I mean, they even announced, I mean, Mojang themselves even announced a May 2019 release, and it never happened. Well, here's the thing. Um, I read all of this information about the movie, and it, I feel like this is actually going to be a good movie. So the, re the thing about the May of 2019 release, they were, wor uh, Mojang was working on the project with Warner Bros, but... Um, the project was kind of abandoned, and they kept leaving and coming back to the project, so it just never happened. And then, um, it is confirmed that they came out with a new release date. But anyway, um, I just, okay, so yeah, I just wanted to explain the plot and details. So, um, the Minecraft movie is an upcoming live-action Swedish-American film based on the video game Minecraft. It is being written by Allison Schroeder, I don't know, and, and directed by Peter Solet, and is set to be released on March 4th, 2022 by Warner Bros. Pictures. So, just right there, it announced the date, and it said it was going to be a- it confirmed it was a live action. I mean, it would have been nice to be the pixelated, blocky type animation. I know a lot of people, you know, like, for example, parents. If parents were to watch this with their kids, and it was a pixelated, blocky animation, the parents are not- would kind of be confused. Probably. Like, they would be confused, they would have a hard time seeing it. It's just for the first time. Yeah, yeah like, if people have never heard of Minecraft, never seen it, they won't understand it. That's what I'm just, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, what I was also wanting to say was... Uh, oh, never <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I say random things all the time, but... Um, here's the story and plot of... The movie. The story of a teenage girl and her unlikely group of adventurers. After the after the malevolent the malevolent Ender Dragon sets out on a path of destruction, they must save their beautiful blocky overworld. So I know it's not the type of story that we've all been like, you know, wanting, because okay, in my opinion, i I was like, okay, the story doesn't make sense. To me, at first, it didn't make sense because, I know, we kind of all hoped that it would be, like, Steve and Alex, um, fighting the Ender Dragon, um, not, well, not only fighting the, the Ender Dragon, but, like, fighting Herobrine and all that. That would have been an interesting story, Herobrine being the main villain and all that. But this story sounds pretty interesting, and, so Alex being a, um, the story of a teenage girl, is, it's not technically Alex, but I'll get to the characters later. The story just sounds interesting, hearing that the Ender Dragon is going to be the main villain, and a teenage girl um, groups up with her adventurous friends. Anyways, let's get to the, Okay, and they also announced characters and what they are going to do. So first we have Tyler, an artistic and extremely creative teen who wants nothing more than to focus on her art and move away from her parents' divorce. Smart but insecure, she wishes for sim simpler times with her brother Eli. The world of Minecraft brings out things in her that she never thought possible. So it looks like the main character, who is the teenage girl, is Tyler. And it looks like she's going to be going through, like, a divorce from her parents. And she's going to be, like, having times with her brother and all that. Next, we have Zeke, a nerdy kid who is always getting laughed at. He longs for a musical, music, a muscular body than 
that he knows he might never achieve. He he takes interest in Tyler at her and her art. Although he is scared to fight, the world of Minecraft also brings out strengths that he never knew he had. So he's a nerdy kid and he has interests and he basically has a crush on Tyler, the main character. And as he is like going through the movie, he's like finding strengths he's never knew he had and all that. Next we have Bernie, a former farmer of Minecraft who longs to get back to his world. He is an old man confined to a nursing home. He is a fighter and the desire to get back to his world re, re, reignites the flames inside of him. So he's basically a farmer in a, in a nursing home and he is a fighter. Next we have Eli Knight, Tyler's older brother. Oh, so that, oh, so Eli Knight is the brother. Eli Knight, okay, so Tyler's older brother and is consistently down and depressed about his parents' divorce. He wants things back to the way that things were. He is so upset about the, divor the divorce that he allows himself to be taken over by the Ender Dragon's mind control. Stronger than he knows, he needs to realize that the love for his family is strong enough to defeat the forces of evil. Ooh, so he allows himself to get mind con- So that right there just revealed some of the- of what the story's gonna be. Because he's so depressed with his- with the divorce, he's going to allow himself to get mind controlled by the dragon. Alright, next we have Barbara. A cross between Rambo and Terminator. She's a fighter, good with a blade, and enjoys killing zombies and taking on the bad guys. So she is like the, I guess she's going to be like the fighter, and she's going to be the one that like enjoys killing the monsters. Hey, that that sounds like me. I, in Minecraft, I love killing the monsters. That That sounds like me. Anyways, now we have... The Ender Dragon, an evil en entity who wants to rule the overworld and punish those responsible for locking him away. So, right there, um, it's confirmed that people lock him away or something, the Ender Dragon away, and to get revenge, he, um, the Ender Dragon goes into the overworld and, like, punishes people by, like, destroying the overworld or something. Alright, two more. We have Miguel, a builder from Minecraft who struggles to adjust to the real world, Th though he tries to get involved in agriculture, but is not welcomed by the higher-ups in the real world. He leaps at the chance to go back to Minecraft. So he's basically the builder, and he's basically going to be the builder. Alright, last one. We have Tai Ying. An engineer who has been thrown out of Minecraft, he is more than ready to take on the evils of the dragon. So I guess he's an engineer and I guess you can get thrown out of Minecraft if that's even a thing. But anyways, he's like, he gets thrown out and, and like joins up with Tyler and her gang and fights the ender dragon, I guess. Anyways, that's... Anyways, that's all we- that's all that there is. Um, to me, this sounds pretty interesting. From all the information that- th that Warner Bros. and Mojang just gave out, this all sounds pretty interesting. So this will be coming out March 4th, 2022. It will be a live action. And that- from all I just read, that's kind of what the story's gonna be. It, the, the Ender Dragon is gonna be the main villain, and- Steve and Alex will not be in the movie. Ty um, a teenage girl named Tyler is going to be the main character. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think about this live-action Minecraft movie coming out in two years from now. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new movie. And yeah, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. See ya.